On Apple Valley News Now, democracy in action. It's election day and voters will decide the future of several ballot measures. Plus, the first flu-related death of the year in Washington state. Health experts sharing the keys to staying healthy during holiday gatherings. And we had a wet, gray start to your Tuesday, but things are changing pretty quickly. It looks like you're going to be needing those shades on Wednesday. I'm tracking all the details in your first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. It is election day and you've got until 8 o'clock tonight to get your signed ballot to a ballot box. Over the next three weeks, election workers all across the state will be certifying ballots and counting votes. In Benton County, representatives from the Republican Party, Democratic Party and the League of Women Voters are always present when election workers are on the job. You can also observe the process in person. Here's a couple of levies and propositions that we're taking a look at this election night. In Benton County, Proposition 1 is for the continued local sales and use tax for public safety needs. This proposition continues funding for law enforcement officers, crime prevention, courts and clerks and prosecutors. About 55 officers and four prosecutors are funded with this current tax. The county is asking for three-tenths of one percent, about 30 cents on a $100 purchase. Franklin County Fire District number three is asking for an increase of the district's property tax levy rate to $1.34 per $1,000 assessed valuation. This is an effort to fund fire protection and emergency medical services, maintenance, staffing, training facilities and equipment. And it would also authorize an annual levy rate increase up to 6% per year above the prior year for collection in 2025 to 2029. You've heard us tell you about this a few times this year. Walla Walla County Fire District 5 is asking for a six-year levy lid lift. They want the property tax levy rate to increase to $1.38 per $1,000 assessed valuation for the 2024 collection fund. This also goes towards fire protection, emergency medical services, staffing, training, facilities and equipment. It would also authorize an annual levy rate increase up to 6% per year above the prior year for collection in 2025 to 2029. Union Gap School District number two has a proposition for Yakima County. The district is asking for a construction bond to improve safety, update buildings and facilities, as well as adding security systems to buildings. The district also wants to update the existing gymnasium, increase parking and install new playground equipment. The school district is asking for an additional $1.43 tax per $1,000 of assessed property value that could be collected for up to 17 years. Snoqualmie Pass Fire and Rescue in Kittitas County is asking for a property tax levy to $1 per $1,000 of assessed valuation. This funding would help maintain and improve fire protection, emergency medical services, and provide for firefighter safety. Ballot boxes are closed at 8 p.m. tonight. You still have time to drop them in. To find information or race results, the first batch will come in after 8 o'clock tonight. Go to applevalleynewsnow.com and click on our election results page for the latest up-to-date information. Now looking over to Yakima County, where there's over 128,000 registered voters. The auditor says they're expecting about 40,000 ballots returned and about half of them to be turned in today. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell has an overview of what's on the ballot for Yakima County. There's about 128,000 registered voters in Yakima County, and the auditor tells me over the past several weeks, they've received about 20,000 of those ballots back, but they're expecting to see about another 20,000 ballots come in just today. The auditor says it's a trend they're seeing more and more, people waiting longer and longer to turn their ballot in. He says with no state or countywide issues on the ballot this election, they're expecting to get back a total of about 40,000 ballots this year. The auditor says they've tried over the years to make voting as easy as possible to increase those numbers. With free postage on ballots, ballot drop boxes in every city, and voting up until 8 p.m. on election night. The rule in Washington says you can register to vote on election day, so if you're not a 
registered voter, you can still get into our office and uh, get yourself registered. And if you pass the identity requirements, you can get a ballot and vote. It's never too late. As long as you're there before 8 p.m. Now, if you haven't turned in your ballot yet, you still have time to do so. Just make sure that you're not dropping it in the mail. Take it to the nearest drop box located near you. There's one in every city and town in Yakima County and get it in before 8 p.m. to make sure that your vote gets counted. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. This evening, the West Richland City Council is set to hear public comment about the possibility of overturning the city's long-standing ban on pot shops. Apple Valley News Now's Alyssa Warner joins us live from West Richland City Hall. Hey Jill, this is something that's been debated for months now. Now, West Richland, like the other areas in the Tri-Cities, banned pot shops within city limits years ago. But earlier this year, Pasco changed its tune, allowing the first pot shop to open within city limits there just last week. Benton County has a few pot shops outside of the Tri-Cities city limits, including Nirvana right outside of West Richland. Now, the benefit here is tax money. Right now, Benton County is getting a piece of that pie. West Richland isn't. So coming up in the next 30 minutes, I'll take a closer look at some of the numbers that we're talking about. But for right now, I'm going to head inside to the West Richland City Council meeting and listen to the public comment session going on there this evening. But right now, Jill, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Thank you, Alyssa. Let's talk weather. Stacy Lee joins us now. And Stacy, it was quite a windy day today. It was, Jill. It's been windy the last couple of days, and we're still seeing some blustery winds in Ellensburg, but things are starting to calm down, down in the uh, the valley. Still breezy in Goldendale, that I-84, you know, Columbia River Gorge area. But yes, winds are starting to calm. That is good news. 53 degrees right now. Legends Casino Sky Cam. Our humidity at 46. And these temperatures are going to drastically start to come down as the night moves on. Our winds are lightning now at 11 miles per hour. Here's what the temps are looking like. Again, now that it's dark, we're going to start seeing those temperatures into the 30s. And in Yakima tonight, we're going to be pretty close to the freezing level overnight. In the Tri-Cities, we're getting there a little uh, slowly, but uh, look at those clear skies outside. 44 by 9 o'clock in Walla Walla. Few clouds out there, temperatures dropping down into the low 40s, and we'll see those 30s overnight. So clearing with winds decreasing, that's the big story for tonight. Cooler temperatures headed our way for the, a couple of days. We have some patchy fog that's going to form and develop. Not so much tonight, but look into tomorrow night and Thursday night. Chance of weekend showers, we have those developing once again. I'll get to all the details in your first alert full weather forecast. Jill. Thank you, Stacy. New tonight, the Benton Franklin Health District has reported the first flu-related death of the season in Washington State. The agency says a Franklin County woman in her early 70s has died. It also says this serves as an important reminder to get a flu shot, which will begin protecting you two weeks after you receive it. In addition to the flu, RSV and COVID could continue to circulate. In fact, health officials say it's possible to get sick from several illnesses all at once. To protect yourself during holiday gatherings, wash hands often, cover coughs and sneezes, don't touch your face, disinfect contaminated surfaces, wear a mask and have good ventilation if possible. Representative Gina Mossbrucker will be in Yakima tonight for the third stop in her series of drug crisis events. And this time it's a listening session with people experiencing homelessness at Camp Hope. Mossbrucker says she wants to hear from people who have real life experience with addiction about what resources would most help them on the journey to recovery and their input on how best to prevent others from turning to drugs in the first place. Mossbrucker says that's why she's holding the event at a homeless shelter. I feel like it's really important to be in the middle of their world and ask them questions where it's comfortable for them and to try to make sure that they have a chance to share their story if they want to. And it's my job to go listen. The event starts in about 20 minutes and runs from 6.30 to 8 tonight at Camp Hope at 2300 East Beach Street and is open to the public. An update now to a story we brought you as breaking news last night. We're hoping to learn more about the allegations against a man police arrested and, and booked into the Franklin County Jail following a standoff in Pasco. It happened Monday evening near Road 32 and Opal Street. Initially, the man refused to come out of the home when officers tried to arrest him. That led to a long standoff that lasted hours. 
Police said they wanted to arrest a man for a felony crime, but they did not elaborate. I'll bring you an update as soon as we get information. A Franklin County inmate who failed to return to jail from a furlough is now considered escaped. A judge granted Michael Paul Nelson a furlough release with an order to return on November 2nd. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office says Nelson failed to return on that date. Officers originally arrested Nelson in November of last year and held him on kidnapping, assault, reckless, uh, resisting arrest and reckless endangerment charges. If you see him, call non-emergency dispatch. Flames damaged a Walla Walla home. The early morning fire sparked in a home on the 500 block of School Avenue. A caller told, told authorities the fire started in the ceiling of a restroom on the home's first floor. Everyone inside got out safely and fire officials credit working smoke detectors for making that happen. Investigators say an overheated ceiling exhaust fan in the restroom sparked the fire. Damage estimated at $25,000. The Benton County Sheriff's Office teams up with an organization to make a difference in a child's life this Christmas. How you can participate coming up. Plus, taking students into the 21st century, the new program at Columbia Basin College, preparing students for a digital world. And Stacy Lee is tracking beautiful conditions for Wednesday. Her first alert forecast is next on Apple Valley News Now at 6. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try a new bagel sandwich. With fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion, or bacon, or sausage, well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. We're still going for that nice catch. We're still going for that sweet shot. And with higher stroke risk from AFib not caused by a heart valve problem, we're going for a better treatment than warfarin, Eliquis. Eliquis reduces stroke risk and has less major bleeding. Over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. Don't stop taking Eliquis without talking to your doctor as this may increase your risk of stroke. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. Get help right away for unexpected bleeding or unusual bruising. It may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. The number one cardiologist prescribed blood thinner. We're going for it. Ask your doctor about Eliquis. Thanks to Les Schwab Tires, I'm a constant backseat driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab Tires. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DOE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Are your closets overflowing? Is your garage filled with things you no longer need? When you donate to Goodwill, you're not just clearing space in your home. You're creating opportunities for those in need. By donating or shopping at Goodwill, you actively contribute to local employment opportunities and help individuals find work within your community. So donate your gently used items to Goodwill, and together we can transform lives and build a brighter future. Goodwill. There's more behind the store. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. I think they like each other. <laughs> I'm Charles. Lunch? Vanessa, I like lunch. Give in to deliciousness. Buy one craveable classic and get another one for a buck. ba da ba ba, -ba. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. 
In an increasingly digital world, there are new career opportunities. So Columbia Basin College has added a new program to help students work toward digital marketing professions. I spoke with college officials today about this new program and the opportunities it could afford CBC students. Columbia Basin College has added a new digital marketing program. Our goal at CBC is to offer courses and degrees that students need to enter into the workforce. And this was a, an area that we saw a need for, and so we're excited to be able to offer it. The prerequisite was the fall, so the, this spring is the first MRKT courses that we're offering, so it's very exciting. Dr. Kyle Winslow is the Dean for Business and Computer Science at CBC. She saw a need for a marketing program back when she started with the college in 2020. At CBC specifically, we've had we've struggled to fill marketing positions, um, you know, failed searches and help with social media. And it's, you know, things are growing even more digitally after COVID. So it's the perfect time. Students who enroll in the program can graduate with a digital marketing associate in applied science transfer degree, which then allows them to continue their education for a Bachelor of Applied Science and Digital Marketing degree at Bellevue College. Both degrees providing the necessary skills for high demand careers. Two of the ones I think that it will be beneficial for this, for the at least the AAS degree, is a marketing research analyst or a specialist that you can, you know, um, somewhere over starting at 50000 which isn't tons, but um, if they get the bachelor's degree, the salaries are $100,000 to start. According to Winslow, a collegiate DECA chapter is part of the program. Students compete in case studies or marketing plans against other chapters across the state or nationally. We have huge DECA um, student population in the Tri-Cities and we're so excited to get offer them something where they can actually get hands-on applied learning and get a job. Fewer than 10 students are enrolled in the program so far. With a capacity for 30, the college is working to get the word out about this new program. We're currently enrolling for winter quarter, so if people are interested, um, they could reach out and do the application process and then speak with the business, the School of Business uh, completion coach about what classes to take. For winter quarter, classes will be online, but the plan is to move to a fully in-person format in the spring. Columbia Basin College spoke to industry professionals and received feedback in the development of this degree, and I'm told they were very supportive of the program. The countdown to Christmas continues. The holiday is just 48 days away, and this year you can make a difference in a child's life. The Benton County Sheriff's Office has partnered with Toys for Tots. Drop off donations at the Sheriff's Office lobby or at the Benton County Jail lobby. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. Well, we've had some gray, gloomy, wet days, but things are changing. We've got clearing skies tonight, currently 53 degrees. Dust Devil Giza Sky Cam traffic moving along nicely tonight on I-182. The day's getting darker since the time change. It's getting dark before 5 o'clock now, so I'm not quite used to that. I'm used to the time change, just not the dark. Uh, let's talk about temperature differences, swings from yesterday. We see quite the cool down, especially overnight temperatures. We're a full 9 degrees cooler right Right now in Hermiston than we were 24 hours ago. Four degrees Tri-City, six in uh, Pendleton and Walla Walla, and five degrees cooler in Yakima. And those cool temperatures uh, overnight anyway are going to stay with us for several days. Uh, the cooler temps, uh, daytime highs for just a couple of days. We've got shifting jet stream. This is where we were today, that jet way below us. Again, bringing in that moisture, that Pacific moisture. That's starting to change. That's moved out of the area. We're seeing some snow showers developing across the panhandle of Idaho and in Canada. Jet comes right down across uh, the uh, western Washington into Oregon, and that's going to shift even more so right on top of Washington State at the Canadian border, and that's going to bring in that moisture from the coast. That's going to be in the form of showers Showers, pretty light showers in the lower elevations, and we're going to see showers in the Cascade Mountains, but we could see some mixed precip there, meaning rain or rain mix with snow, uh, but should stay above past levels at this point. So we'll get closer to that here in a couple of days and be able to get a little bit more accurate on that. We've got clear skies though moving through Wednesday, Wednesday night, nice and clear through the Columbia Basin, our region. You'll start to see those clouds starting to make their way through the area early Thursday afternoon and that first band of showers here with some snow possible in those upper elevations. That's the first little band. Then we've got another one right behind that. Now that's going to bring some straggling showers through our area. Not expecting a lot of precip from that in our region. 
region. However, you'll see those heavier showers and even some mountain snow showers across the region. Again, at this time, it's looking like the passes won't be too affected. However, you could see some snowflakes if you're driving across the pass heading towards uh, the Seattle area and at beginning Thursday into Friday. Here's our Tuesday wind wise. We've been seeing those strong gusty winds for the last couple of days. Things are starting to calm. Still going to see those winds tonight in Dayton and Pendleton. Tri-Cities calming down as we kick off tomorrow. We'll see those winds pretty gusty in the Dayton area. Tri-Cities a little breezy there, but we'll see those winds decrease as the day goes along. Long. Winds are going to help us uh, with the fog overnight, but Thursday winds will die down and that's going to allow some fog to develop in the area. We have all that moisture and the cool air coming in with all that combined. We'll see some fog developing through the region, so be aware of that on your commute late Wednesday night into Thursday and Thursday possibly into Friday. Here's that drop in temps. Then we'll see those temperatures come back up and level off Tri-Cities. We'd have that big drop in temps as well and then coming back to just above average average or right at average for the next seven days. Temperatures overnight tonight. There we are. We are seeing those 30 degree temps for tomorrow. Look for uh, temperatures in the 40s and 50s through the area. And here's a quick look at that seven day planning forecast. Don't forget Veterans Day is on Saturday. Uh, take notice of those chilly overnight lows down at the freezing level for several days and those temperatures popping back up uh, for Veterans Day in Tri-Cities. But those uh, low temps again for a couple of nights ahead and in Walla Walla we'll see some showers developing beginning Friday and kind of on and off all the way through early next week. Jill. We already know the struggles for children next identifying the symptoms of ADHD in adults. You're watching Apple Valley News now at six. There is a place where magic seems to hide around every corner where cherished memories are born in twinkling snowflakes where enchanting adventures await all who explore. Where is this real-life winter wonderland? Nestled by the lake is Coeur d'Alene's Holiday Light Show, an experience you will never forget. Discover Santa's all-new North Pole with holiday getaways starting at only $250. The DQ Cheeseburger Lover's Deal is back. Two single cheeseburgers for only five bucks or two double cheeseburgers for just seven bucks? For real? Oh, tell me it's as good as it looks. Deal this good speaks for itself, I guess. But you better get it before it's gone. DQ, happy tastes good. Our phones keep us constantly connected. Can you switch to airplane mode? But what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? Introducing what Us Mode, a mode that makes our phones less distracting so we can focus on quality time. So the notifications we get <laughs> are the ones that matter. So we're never distracted from what's most important. Visit US Cellular in-store or online to set up Us Mode for free, even if you're not a customer. US Cellular, built for us. The next generation of streaming is here. Introducing Spectrum One Stream with internet, advanced Wi-Fi, mobile, and now TV. With the all new Zumo Stream Box, it's streaming simplified. Get Spectrum One Stream with fast and reliable internet for $49.99 a month, free advanced Wi-Fi, a free unlimited mobile line, and a free Zumo Stream Box when you add Spectrum TV. Go to spectrum.com slash stream, a Spectrum store, or call 833-976-4999. Thank you for getting groceries, me. Huh? Of course. Happy to help. Will Medicare cover any of these bills? I thought it would, but it doesn't. We'll get through this. I will always be here for you. I know. But what about you? I don't ever want you to be in this situation. Don't worry, Dad. With WA Cares, I'm earning long-term care benefits with each paycheck. That money will be there when I need it. Find out how the WA Cares Fund can help. An accident can shatter your life. The award-winning team at Tamaki Law can put your life back together. I'm attorney Jeff Kreutz. And I'm attorney Megan Changaroya. Thank you Tri-Cities for voting us best personal injury and best overall law firm. We are so honored and grateful to serve this amazing community. If you've been seriously injured, call the law firm that has served Central Washington for 30 years. Call Tamaki Law and get your life back. 
In health news, identifying ADHD in adults who may not have received a diagnosis as children. The condition can cause all sorts of issues and life disruptions. Adults with ADHD may be tempted to take unnecessary risks, have difficulty waiting in line or driving in heavy traffic. They may be fidgety, have mood swings or low stress tolerance. So people will get in trouble at work. They may uh, get reprimanded for not completing assignments. They may have trouble in their social life. According to the Mayo Clinic, adults with ADHD have an increased substance abuse risk, have an increased risk of marital stress or divorce, and are more likely to get into car crashes. They can make a lovely cocktail, but Absolute Vodka and Kahlua have a new fragrance that's next. But first, Stacey Lee has your reason to smile. And we've got a beautiful photo today. This is a nice photo above McNary Dam today. Look at that gorgeous view of the canyon and the river. Thanks to our friend Shelly Brinkley. Thanks for sh uh, sharing your photo, Shelly. Remember, if you want to have your photo featured on our Reason to Smile, just get outside, snap it, and send it in to S. Lee at applevalleynewsnow.com. Your Reason to Smile is brought to you by West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental in Pasco. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Hey, y'all, this ain't no turkey shootout going on at Legends Casino Hotel in November. It's a roping and a riding cash and car roundup, where you could wrangle $10,000 in cash or win a new Volkswagen. Just steer your Legends Rewards card smack dab into your favorite slot machine to earn entries. And then giddy up on over to Legends Casino on Thursdays for your chance to snag 10 grand in cash or a VW Jetta on November 23rd or the Atlas Crossboard on November 3rd. Round up the posse and we'll see you at Legends Casino Hotel in Toppenish. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, get a free carrying case, chain, and hat with the purchase of Select Steel Chainsaws. Real Steel. Find yours. Does your bath or shower need a remodel? Bathfitter can do it all. We'll remove your existing fiberglass tub or shower and replace it with a custom crafted shower or soaker tub. All made in America at our state of the art factory. We rebuild your walls with new drywall and install a custom made tub or shower with seamless walls in as little as one day. All work is guaranteed and built to last. Call your locally owned Bath Fitter store now to book your free in-home estimate or visit bathfitter.com. We're still going for that nice catch. We're still going for that sweet shot. And with higher stroke risk from AFib not caused by a heart valve problem, we're going for a better treatment than warfarin, Eliquis. Eliquis reduces stroke risk and has less major bleeding. Over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. Don't stop taking Eliquis without talking to your doctor as this may increase your risk of stroke. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. Get help right away for unexpected bleeding or unusual bruising. It may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. The number one cardiologist prescribed blood thinner. We're going for it. Ask your doctor about Eliquis. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 84 months, plus save up to $800. Find a Kubota dealer near you at gokubota.com. You know, there's millions of people without the health insurance they need. I get it. You feel like it's too pricey, a headache to deal with, and not worth it. You deserve something better and better. We're on a mission to get everyone high quality health insurance. We have plans with as low as $0 out of pocket premiums a network of local doctors, and a rewards program for making healthy choices. Nice. That's why we're America's number one marketplace health insurance. So call us or go online now. And better health. On a mission for better. 
Welcome back. Absolute Vodka and Kahlua have teamed up for a scent that smells like an espresso martini. It's called Blend Number no. 83, a nod to the year the drink was created. The scent is a mix of dark chocolate, sugarcane rum, Arabica coffee, and night musk. According to the companies, the fragrance floods the senses with silky richness. The perfume will become available online for 105 bucks. Pre-orders opened today. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Do you so, want to smell like a martini? Absolute vodka. <laughs> they team up. They have a baby. That's what you smell like? I guess so. You'd yeah. be popular at the bar, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, well, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court takes up a guns rights case, this time involving domestic abusers. Also, Pasco just opened its first pot shop. Now, West Richland takes public comment about cannabis dispensaries. We're live with the latest. Plus, the new addition to Kennewick's Playground of Dreams. The news at 6.30 starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. Right now, the West Richland City Council is hearing public comment about a proposal to allow pot shops within city limits. Apple Valley News Now's Alyssa Warner joins us live from West Richland City Hall. Hi, Jill. Yeah, the public comment just got started a few minutes ago. There's about 30 people ready to talk inside the West Richland City Council meeting. Now, again, we're talking about pot shops possibly allowing them within city limits. We got started with a brief presentation from the city and now we're hearing from concerned people. Now, when it comes to allowing pot shops or not, this isn't exactly just about convenience for customers. It's also about tax money. Washington State imposes a 37% tax on cannabis purchases. A portion of that then trickles down to communities where pot is sold. So the latest numbers from the state show that Benton County got more than $450,000 in fiscal year 2023. Now, by contrast, Walla Walla County doesn't allow pot sales. They didn't get any money from the state. The city of Walla Walla, however, does. They raked in more than $100,000 in fiscal year 2023. A similar story in Yakima. The county gets nothing, while the city got more than $250,000 in fiscal year 2023. And we were seeing some numbers from the city in their presentation earlier. They're anticipating that the state should send in about $60,000 per year if West Richland decides to allow pot sales within city limits. Now that decision will not be made tonight. This is just for public comment. It's a chance for people to air their concerns, let the city council know what they're thinking about this potential program. The city council could hold a vote at their meeting coming up two weeks from tonight, but as we've seen from when Pasco City Council considered approving pot as well, that process can sometimes get delayed as city council decides to put it on hold and gather more information. So we'll continue to keep an eye on this and let you know what the city council decides and how they're moving along in this process. For right now, I'm Alyssa Warner, live at West Richland City Hall. Jill, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Thank you, Alyssa. Let's talk weather. Stacy Lee joins us now, and we were talking about how it was a little blustery earlier. Stacy, what are we seeing now? It's been fun seeing all the leaves flying all around the area, but winds are starting to die down this evening, which is good. Still a little breezy tonight in Ellensburg and down here in the Columbia River Gorge, Pendleton. A little bit windy there, but winds will decrease overnight. Let's take a peek outside our Legends Casino Skycam. 53 degrees, clearing skies. That's good. Look at our sunset, 430 now. It's getting dark so early. Our humidity tonight at 46%. Uh, let's talk about those uh, temperatures uh, around the area right now in other places. Pendleton at 48, down to 50 right now in Hermiston and Toppenish, 45 in Ellensburg, and a chilly 39 in Clee Ellum. Here's the temperature trend for tonight, next 24 hours in the Tri-Cities, dropping down to 35. We were at 51 degrees last night around the Columbia Basin, dropping into the upper 40, so big change there. In Yakima, again, the temperatures dropped down to below the freezing mark right around 6 o'clock in the morning, and we'll warm up to the low 50s. So planning your day out for tomorrow, that's what it's going to look like out the door. Grab your coat. You're going to need that. Warming up pretty nice by midday. Those winds are going to be much lighter. Lots of sunshine, so do grab your shades out the door and those temperatures stay warm right up into dinner time. Jill? A federal crackdown proposed for changes to private Medicare health plans. That in an effort to make seniors aware of the extra benefits available to them. The typical Medicare customer has 40 private health plans to choose from, which can be overwhelming. 
An average Advantage plan offers nearly two dozen health benefits not found in traditional medical care, uh, Medicare plans. They include benefits like fitness, dental plans, and access to behavioral health. The proposed changes would also give seniors faster access to cheaper medications. The proposals announced during open enrollment, which ends December 7th. A vinyl version would take effect sometime next year. The struggle to make ends meet becoming clearer as a growing number of Americans dip into their retirement plans to pay bills. Bank of America says it's seen a 27 percent spike in the number of 401k participants pulling out cash from those accounts since the first quarter of the year. That's more than 18,000 people and the highest level in the five quarters B of A has tracked this data. The average withdrawal total totaled $5,000. That report also found the share of households with newly delinquent credit cards reached its highest level in 12 years. Bank of America says it has more than 4 million plan participants, so the total number of those who access their retirement plans measures less than six-tenths of a percent. Today, the Supreme Court heard a major case regarding the federal ban on guns for domestic abusers. This following a gun safety regulation that has been around for 30 years in which federal law prohibits the sale of firearms to anyone under a domestic violence restraining order. The nine justices listening to those oral arguments today and leaving the impression they would uphold that law. ABC's Melissa Adon has the details. Today, the issue of gun rights back before the U.S. Supreme Court. The court hearing oral arguments over a 30-year-old law that bans people under domestic violence restraining orders from possessing firearms. The high court taking up the case one year after a ruling by the conservative majority on the court made it more difficult for governments to restrict individual gun rights. The Fifth Circuit Court struck down the law earlier this year, calling it an outlier, which led the Supreme Court to take it up. But several conservative justices, including Justice Samuel Alito, worry the law could deprive nonviolent Americans of their gun rights. There are situations in which the family court judge who has to act quickly and may not have any investigative uh, resources uh, faces a he, she, a he said, she said situation. At a rally outside the Supreme Court, survivors of domestic violence sharing their stories and why the law is necessary. I lost my niece to gun violence and I grew up in a household with a domestic abuser. According to the CDC, an estimated 12 million American adults are victims of domestic abuse every year. And on average, 70 die every month from being shot by an intimate partner. And women are five times more likely to die from a domestic abuse situation if a gun is involved, according to the Johns Hopkins Center for Gun Violence Solutions. But gun rights advocates worry the law could deprive nonviolent Americans of their gun rights without adequate due process. This statute actually ends up disarming a bunch of law abiding or, or otherwise good people. Judges often issue mutual restraining orders, which disarms both the victim and the abuser at the same time. The Fifth Circuit ruled in favor of Zaki Rahimi, a Texas drug dealer who was indicted for gun possession in violation of a restraining order obtained by his girlfriend. That was Melissa Adon reporting the justices are expected to release in June. Before we celebrate Thanksgiving, the nation pauses to recognize Veterans Day. This is that, it's this Saturday, November 11th, and on that day, entry to the country's national parks is free. Washington State has three of them, Olympic, North Cascades, and Mount Rainier. However, services like camping, boat launches, or special tours are not free. Saturday will make the last chance for free national park entry this year. It may be another phase of the playground of dreams, but the ribbon cutting today was a step forward in making sure people of all abilities can have a good time. Apple Valley News Now's Morgan Huff brings us the sights and sounds of the opening of Kaysen's Corner. In Kaysen's Corner in the Playground of Dreams. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a real king. <laughs> the main reason is I went to a doctor's appointment in Spokane and I had so much fun on the swings, but when we came back here and found out that there was no swings, we sort of just like what to do now so we call around and really this is a it's a community effort and it's a special day 
because we're here to open up the phase two of the inclusive, fully inclusive playground here at Playground of Dreams. And this isn't just your normal playground. This is Casey's Corner. A $2 bill now worth so much more. One auction house says the currency has sold for thousands of dollars. Tomorrow looks absolutely gorgeous. Stacy Lee is tracking your first alert forecast. And we're giving you a bird's eye view of Folsom Farms when we fly the Northwest. You're watching Apple Valley News now at 630. Portions of Apple Valley News now sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. A semi-truck accident can shatter your life. At Tamaki Law, we put your life back together. If you've been hit by a large commercial vehicle, call Tamaki Law. Semi-truck insurance companies have the resources to deny any claim. That's why you need the experienced team at Tamaki Law to fight for the justice you deserve. If you've been seriously injured, call Tamaki Law and get your life back. Time for a new roof? Let m and Roof and Replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and Replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. Are you looking for a bank that has traditional values and modern solutions? Are you looking for a bank that is member owned? Are you looking for a bank that leaves a lasting impact on the community? I've got news for you. You're not looking for a bank. Belong to something better. Join Hapo Community Credit Union where you are more than just a member. Visit hapo.org to join today. Where do you credit union? With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Ooh, the DQ Cheeseburger Lover's Deal is back. Two single cheeseburgers for only five bucks or two double cheeseburgers for just seven bucks? For real? Oh, tell me it's as good as it looks. Deal this good speaks for itself, I guess. But you better get it before it's gone. DQ, happy tastes good. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side, and end confidence in your real estate journey. One good round deserves another at Zentel Creek Golf Club in Kennewick. Stay warm inside with state-of-the-art golf simulators or book banquet space for your next family or professional event. Weekends liven up with select live music events throughout the season. Go to ZentelCreek.com to find the list of live music options and make reservations for golf, dinner, drinks, and fun all year round. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, Peyton Manning and Luke Bryan take over your morning. I'm looking forward to it. On the morning of the CMA Awards. And just wait until you see what they reveal. I'm excited. Tomorrow on Good Morning America. Good Morning America. In the late 1800s, settlers started moving into eastern Washington, setting up farms and starting to build communities. Tonight, we take you to one of those farms that's been turned into a recreation area for all to enjoy. It's our focus as we fly the Northwest. I like the availability to go and see what they have left. Uh, what the buildings they have left and then the history that they have on the signs itself that explains why why it was called fish trap of the uh, trenches that they had done had built to the lake and then would uh, actually trap the fish we are traveling the uh, nation kind of the uh, the ultimate 
social distancing kind of uh, traveling seeing what the countrysides have to offer and we are from Corpus Christi Texas it's been great uh, it, I'm, I'm really surprised that it's so quiet so quiet out here uh, on the other places that we've been there's other campers other people that we've seen but this is the first time that we've been somewhere where there's there's nobody else the weather here is fantastic we are used to 100 degree weather and 100 percent humidity and here it's fantastic. We were able to come out and enjoy the, the sun without immediately sweating or even mosquitoes. I like it, we all like it. There's five of us traveling. I got my two kids, I got my wife and my mother. I'm taking the kids to show them the real history rather than history books. The Folsom Farm Recreation Area is on the south side of Interstate 90, just north of Sprague and is open year round. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. And our weather is transitioning. This has been our setup. We've had that jet stream well below us to the south. That's been pulling in all that moisture. Well, things are changing. That jet's going to start moving up, and that's going to pull in the colder air from Canada instead of more of that South Pacific warmer uh, air. The, there you see those snow showers in uh, in Canada and through the uh, panhandle, if I can get it together, <laughs> of Idaho. And we'll see that jet even get further up to us. And that's going to allow that next band of showers to move across the area and colder air coming down from Canada. On top of that, we could start to see a few snowflakes fall in the upper elevations of the Cascade Mountains. Now, we're not expecting them to be down below like at pass level. So if you're planning, we'll keep you uh, posted on that as we get closer. Clear skies moving through our Wednesday. Wednesday morning or to start our Wednesday morning, I should say nice and clear tomorrow. Grab those shades. Sunshine's going to be a pretty nice day, although on the cool side, here comes those clouds on Thursday. Here comes that first band of showers and moisture across the Cascade Mountains. The blue, that's a little bit of snow. Again, upper elevations at first, then it's going to move to the east. We'll see some stray showers coming through. We're not expecting a whole lot of moisture out of that uh, past the mountains, but we are going to see some snow showers moving across or mixed precip across those upper elevations. Elevation. So finally, Cascades getting a little bit of much needed snow. Uh, the roads should be good, but again, as we head towards the weekend, I'll keep you uh, enlightened about that. Midnight or so Friday, you'll see those showers moving off to the east towards Walla Walla. So that's that next uh, system moving through, but we have a nice day Wednesday and most of Thursday. We've been watching those breezy and gusty winds. We'll still see those uh, winds here in the Columbia Basin, Tri-Cities, and the foothills of the Blues near Dayton tomorrow. But as the day progresses, those winds die down. Now, when these winds start to die down with these cooler temperatures and all the moisture we've had in the air. We have a pretty good chance of some fog developing or dense fog anywhere from the Kittitas Valley right on through the Columbia Basin, which is where we typically get fog this time of year. So be aware of that late Wednesday night into Thursday and even Thursday night into Friday. Let's take a peek outside Legends Casino Sky Cam, Columbia Point in Richland. 53 degrees right now. We've got traffic kind of calming down, smoothing out uh, out there on Highway 240. Winds are lighter at 11 miles per hour. Our temperatures overnight tonight on the chilly side. Again, we were near in the 40s and even 50s in the Tri-Cities. Now we're dropping down to 35 overnight. You'll see those 30s along the foothills of the Blues and freezing level for Yakima, Toppenish, uh, Ellensburg, Hanford tonight, uh, Prosser. So chilly, chilly temperatures overnight and that will continue for the next couple of days. Tomorrow, grab your sunglasses. Enjoy those 50s through the area. Should be a fairly nice day. Much lighter winds. Won't have as much bluster in the air. Here's those uh, temperatures moving through the week for your seven day planner in Yakima. Veterans Day could be wet in Yakima. Those temperatures staying uh, down below freezing uh, through Friday into Saturday. And then we'll see a slight little warm up, but not much. Tri City staying slightly above the freezing level as we move into next week, but it's going to be cold the next couple of nights. In Walla Walla, chilly there as well. Those temperatures dip down into the 40s. Overnight lows uh, at the freezing level Wednesday into Thursday should warm up though as we move through the week with more showers possible in to next week. So big changes in the weather. Again, grab that coat tonight and tomorrow morning. It's going to be a chilly one. I'll do your uh, big planning forecast here coming up in just a few minutes. Apple Valley News now at 630. We'll be right back. Thanks for yielding. Thank you. Thanks for yielding. Ben Franklin Transit bus drivers would like to say thank you for yielding. When buses are getting back into traffic after a stop, you help keep traffic moving and buses on schedule. You increase the safety of everyone around you. 
you are following state law, and of course, you're helping our skilled and dedicated drivers get us all where we need to go. Learn more at BFT.org. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 84 months, plus save up to $800. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $20 on the BGA57 battery blower. Real steel. Find yours. Our phones keep us constantly connected. Can you switch to airplane mode? But what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? Introducing what Us Mode, a mode that makes our phones less distracting so we can focus on quality time. Moments. So the notifications we get <laughs> are the ones that matter. So we're never distracted from what's most important. Visit US Cellular in-store or online to set up US Mode for free, even if you're not a customer. US Cellular, built for us. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now, through December 31st, receive rebates up to $1,400 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful custom arrangements, live plants, silk florals, home decor, and all things fall. We're unique and we're here for all of life's occasions. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. If you have a $2 bill, you should know it's worth much more than just $2. In fact, the currency can be worth thousands of dollars. One $2 bill from 2003 with a low serial number recently sold at auction for $2,400. It later resold for $4,000. That's according to Heritage Auctions, the largest auction house in the world that deals with U.S. currency. You can find a complete list of the values of collectible $2 bills at the website uscurrencyauctions.com. A piece of history from the Titanic will go up for auction this weekend. According to British auction house Henry Aldridge & Son Limited, items include a first-class dinner menu from the ill-fated voyage, the water-stained menu, with some lettering partly erased, is expected to sell for up to $86,000. Also up for auction, a tartan blanket that a survivor used to stay warm in a Titanic lifeboat and a watch that belonged to a Russian traveler who died. More than 1,500 people on board the Titanic died when it sank on April 14, 1912. 706 people survived. They may be destinations to add to your bucket list. National Geographic has released a list of the coolest places to travel. In the U.S., the entire states of New York and Texas made the cut. In New York, Nat Geo suggests visiting the Big Apple, Lake Placid, and Niagara Falls. Texas is recommended for having several great spots to catch next year's solar eclipse. Miami also made the list, as did several places in Europe. Those include the Pompeii ruins, the mountains of Albania, Lima, Peru, and Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Check this out. You're looking at the first images beamed back from the Euclid Space Telescope. The European Space Agency launched it in July. Its mission to create the most detailed 3D map of the dark side of the universe in six years. Euclid sits in orbit one million miles from Earth. 
The images include a stellar nursery, clusters of galaxies, and stars from up to billions of light years away. Many had never been seen before. You're watching Apple Valley News Now. We will be back. Did you see this? It says most people are going to need long-term care that health insurance and Medicare won't cover. I saw that, and it got me thinking, if I need to pay for home modifications or in-home care, I am not prepared. Are you? Not really. I mean, whatever happens, I just want to know that I'll be able to get care and stay in my own home as I age. Right? I want that too. So, uh... Find out how the WA Cares Fund can help. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roofing replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want in your yard. For the first time, Cage Warriors Northwest MMA comes to Legends Casino Hotel Saturday, November 18th. See Yakima MMA's George Alcala and Richard Foster defend their home turf against Johnny Robles and Larry Gonzalez, plus up to seven other bouts. Tickets start at just $40 and are available now at Ticketmaster.com or the Legends Gift Shop. Don't miss Action Packed MMA, presented by Northwest Fight Promotions, only at Legends Casino Hotel Saturday, November 18th. Get your tickets now. Now is the time for a new bath from Bathfitter. Every Bathfitter bath is installed quickly, safely, and beautifully with a lifetime warranty. Go from old to new, from worn to wow. The beautiful bath you've always wanted, done right, installed by one expert technician, all in one day. We've been creating moments like these for 35 years, and we're here to help you get started. Book your free virtual or in-home design consultation today. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. I've worked construction all my life. I take pride in my job and working hard. I've had my share of bumps and bruises. Of all places, I get hurt shopping with my wife. This injury affected every part of my life. The insurance company offered me nothing. I went to my buddy Scott Brumback and Sid Autumn. We ultimately filed suit. My lawyers fought hard for me and got a great result. These guys speak blue collar. Now I know what they mean by Bulldog Tough. Right, Mo? Brumback and Autumn, Bulldog Tough. Next ET. I've seen a lot that you can't see. Except you guys can, because yeah. you're entertainment tonight. Only we're on set of The Santa Clauses with Tim Allen. Next, ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest. Sponsored by Wendemere Group One. And one final look at our weather. Here's your seven-day planning forecast for Tri-Cities and Walla, Walla. Take note of those chilly overnight lows. Temperatures not too bad, but again, rain in the forecast later into the week on um, most of next week. Here's uh, Walla Walla and Hermiston chilly overnight lows there as well with those rain showers possible in the forecast. So it definitely feels like fall now. <laughs> it really does. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. You can always find the latest on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. We are back tonight at 11.